Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Photo galleries can be a great addition to any site. They can be used to display products, show examples of work done, or even to post your vacation pictures. The best part of these photo galleries is that they are very easy to create and front page does most of the work for you. All you need to do is tell it which pictures to include. You can create photo galleries either by inserting them into an existing page or by using the photo gallery page template. Let's first take a look at inserting one into an existing page. To do this, click Insert in the menu bar and then click Web Component. Then in the list on the left, select Photo Gallery and then choose a layout option to the right. Once you've done this, click Finish. Then, on the Pictures tab, you must start by clicking the Add button and selecting a source from the drop-down list. Either Pictures from Files or Pictures from Scanner or Cameras. If you have downloaded pictures from your digital camera or have scanned them into your computer and they're now saved on your hard drive, you're no longer using pictures from scanner or cameras. These are now files on your computer, so you would select picture from files. Next, navigate to the pictures you'd like to include and select them. Once you select the desired pictures, click Open. Next, you can select each picture individually in the list in the upper left corner of the dialog box and enter a caption and description for each. The caption and description are not absolutely necessary, but they are helpful, especially for your visitors. If you'd like to change the order of any of your pictures, simply click the picture in the list and then use the move up and move down buttons as necessary. You can even change the thumbnail size of each picture with the width and height spinner boxes to the right. Generally it's a good idea to have maintain aspect ratio selected so you don't distort the picture. Then, if you'd like, you can set the dimensions you just specified as the default size for other pictures. If you need to resize, crop, rotate, or flip any of the pictures, you can simply select the picture from the list and then click the Edit button. This will open the Edit Picture dialog box, which functions as a miniature photo editing program. Here you can use the fields at the right to change the width and height of the picture and you can use the buttons in the rotate picture section to rotate and or flip the picture. Then if you only want to display part of the picture you can click the crop button and then click and drag over the area in the picture you'd like to display. When you're finished making your modifications, you can use the next and previous buttons to edit other pictures or you can click OK. If you make a mistake, you can click the reset button to change the picture back to the way it was before you made any changes. Again, when you're finished, click OK. 
If you need to remove any of the images, select it in the list and then click Remove. Next, on the Layout tab, you can select a different layout for your photo gallery and, depending on the layout, select a setting from the Number of Pictures Per Row drop-down. When you're finished, click OK. Another great thing about the photo gallery is that it does not have to be published and viewed online in order for it to function properly in the preview section. To create a new photo gallery using a page template, use the menu bar and task pane to get to the page templates. Then, on the General tab, find the Photo Gallery template. Once you find it, click OK. Once the page is created, scroll until you can see the photos, and then double-click one of them to open the properties for that component. From here, the process is the same as if you simply inserted a photo gallery into an existing page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.